Before we begin, I want to read the Marjorie posts. My husband and I don't usually stop to address all the foolishness and lies that have been spread about us. However, to whom which it is given, much is required. I understand that with my platform comes some sort of responsibility to those that may not be as strong as we are. Read and share this with your loved ones that may not know how to properly cope. God bless you all. Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little sunflower seeds. How are you on this fine, fine, is it Wednesday? Yes, Thursday? it is Wednesday. Wednesday morning. Okay, you know, I have to get up and I got to record early now because baby crone goes to school. So I got to get up early and do this thing. So anyway, I want to talk about um, Steve Harvey and Marjorie. Um, I had someone that wanted me to find out about Steve Harvey and Marjorie. The last time I read on Steve Harvey was several months ago, and it just seems like they were just struggling. Um, there's a lot I got to say about um, Steve Harvey and Marjorie. There's a lot of rumors. First of all, this is what I know. <coughs> Excuse me. There are a lot of rumors surfacing that uh, Marjorie has had affairs on Steve Harvey. I don't know if somebody's writing a book. I think she had an affair with the chef, with the, you know, uh, the bodyguard. I don't know who, but she done had affairs. And, um, and prior to, she must have was a lady that dated a lot because I understand that she used to date like pimps. And um, drug dealers. This is allegedly. So apparently Margie, Steve Harvey's wife, have a past that precedes her. Okay. Now, my thing is this, and this is where I'm coming in. This is the base of the story of what I know. Baby Clone, yes. is there anything else you want to add to this story before I go in with my commentary? It just <clears throat> sounds shocking, and I hope it is not true, nor the fact that they're getting a divorce. Well, my thing is this. Steve Harvey is the guru of love. You know, um, he has a lot of great points, and I'm not going to take that away from Steve Harvey. I'm not. I know a lot of people are looking at his marriage and going, oh, my goodness, uh, this is this, you know, making fun. I don't make fun of anybody marriage that could be going through. However, the kicker is Steve Harvey and Marjorie both denounce this. They saying that it is lies and it is not true. Right. Yes. This is not true, even though someone is writing a book, somebody I think came out of prison. It's just a whole lot of gibbly goobly gobbly goop. My thing is, when I look at uh, Steve Harvey, I look at Gomar and, and he and, and Jose, you know, Steve Harvey. My thing is this. You have I feel as though you should do whatever you can to save your marriage. No matter what record precede her, you said that she was the woman of your dream. So if she's the woman of your dreams, I'm sure there was some part in you could have seen that this was a woman that has been out and that you wasn't the only one or the only two or the only three. I don't think that their marriage should break up over this. I feel as though whatever they're going through, they should make it out. So if, you know, people are calling her a whore, I hate saying these things. I, I just think they're so disturbing, you know? I mean, why does a woman has life have to be less valued because she slept with one or two or three or more men? This, this, this kind of thinking needs to stop, and it needs to stop with women. We need to stop it. Just because you've had sex with one or two or three or four women or what, it doesn't make you a whore. Only you could decide on whether or not you're a whore. If you're getting paid, whatever. I just feel as though we as women should start respecting other women and stop doing this. At the end of the day, this is Steve Harvey, Harvey's wife. And he has a right to decide. And if they say that they're going to weather the storm, I hope they do. Because that's what love looks like. Love is messy. Love come with a pass. Love is not always pretty and wrap it up in a bow. Sometimes we fall in love because we are broken. 
Sometimes we fall in love because we look for people to fill our brokenness. There's a myriad of reasons to why we fall in love. But the one thing is clear about love, that <clears throat> many of us fall in love immature. We fall in love like children. And so our love affairs turn out like children's love affairs turn out. Reckless, messy. But when you're an adult like, like Marjorie and Steve Harvey, I don't give a John Brown what comes on the market. You are mature enough where you should be able to work through all of this. All of it. All of it, because neither one of you, as far as I'm concerned, were Virgin Marys or Virgin Henrys when you got married. You both had a checkered past. So far as I'm concerned, neither one of you is better than the other. And so the only thing I want this reading to be about, are, are they going to stay together or are they going to depart? Because if, this, if Steve Harvey let his life, wife go over this, I'm, a, I, I'm done with him. She can leave. It's nothing he can do about that. But the Bible said that no matter how much um, Omar wanted to leave, Jose wouldn't give her a divorce. Because God told him that was your wife. And this is how I see with Margie. This is your wife. And she comes with packages. So did you. Y'all both did. It's time to forgive and move on. That is my advice. Make it work. For you to... It ain't y'all done been around for you to an, an affair here and there. It's not enough to break up a marriage, make it work. And I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but you got to look at where these two people come from. Look at Margie's past. Look at Steve Harvey's past. Come on, make it work. Make that marriage no matter what. That's what marriage is when you go through the rough parts, when you go through the high parts and the low parts and the smelly parts. This is what love is. Make it work. And that's what my reading is about. My reading is about because they're saying and they're standing 10 toes down and they're going to stick it. And that's what I want to hear. I don't care what the naysayers. I don't care what the, what is it, the media, the bloggers. What I want to see, Harvey, Steve, is you make it work. Make it work. As one would say, as my mother would say, the devil is a liar. Make it work. I don't care if she was the whore of Edom. Make it work. Because neither one of you are in a position to throw rocks. Neither one of you. So make it work. If you didn't know this about her, shame on you, Steve. You are the guru of love. Make it work. Baby Crone, is there anything you should say about what I'm saying? Is there anything? Do I sound mean? Do I sound hard, Baby Crone? Tell the truth. No, you don't. And they are just another couple that are out there sticking it out. Yes, yeah, sticking Smith it out. Jada. Another couple. That's right. I would not let if if I was in their conditions and, and, and it allegedly she's asking for half of his money. How are you going to be asking for half when you're the cheater? Nevertheless, I don't know. It could be in California and it's no fault. My thing is, I don't care about the money or anything. I don't want them to break up. I think they are a beautiful couple. I think that they're going through challenges. I think that her past is coming up. I think wherever there is smoke, there is some kind of fire. I'm just saying, if you love your wife, and Steve, from what you tell me, you said that you get up early in the morning, you work all day, so it sounds like you don't have time for your wife. And understanding the condition and your sexual, your wife's sexual language, you should be more attentive to that. If that's not it, if that's not it, because I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go in, and we're gonna go in, um, baby Cone. You have questions? Well, yes, I do have questions, but first, because we're gonna go in quickly, because I really want to know, you know, um, is are they gonna? Is this gonna ruin their marriage? That's what I want to know, because from what I gather and the letters and the texts. I meant to have you read one, baby Chrome, but it's on my phone. And um, the letters in the text saying that, that, you know, our marriage is strong, nothing happening, blah, 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 blah. Well, I hope they're right about that. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's get one for Steve. Let's get one for Marjorie first, the woman first. Marjorie. Oh, page of one. Ah, so she could be a little immature, fiery, sexual. Let's see where Steve is. Steve is. How old is Marjorie? Marjorie is well, Steve. First, K. 
King of Cups. First off, Marjorie is a Libra. Okay. And Steve is... She's a fiery Libra. Yes. And Steve is a Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, she, here. Go ahead. She is 58. Okay, so she ain't no spring chicken, and he's 66. Yes. Okay, so she's older. She's 50 what? 58. Okay, so she's considered what I call what I call a part of the old head crew. So she's a part of the old head crew. I mean, she looks good. They are beautiful couple. Steve is fit. So Steve here comes as a king of cups. So therefore, and Marjorie comes as the spitfire of the relationship. And we can see that. So let's see, what could the bottom be? So Steve is the more of the loving. It just seems like to me, and this, I believe, I perceive that Steve loves her like he loves a possession. Like, because she comes off as a child. We know she's not a child. So she comes off of here as spitfire. So it's like she's come energetic. She come creative, sexual, all those things. And Steve Harvey is the mellow man who loves love and want to give love, who's emotional and sensitive and giving and caring. So I see, like Marjorie, it's like, I don't want to say like a Daughter, but what do you call a man that like a like a sugar daddy? Okay, I, that's the that that's the best I can explain it. Where he's like Big Papa, and she's like his everything. And this is what it's showing. It's showing that he loves Marjorie very very much. Marjorie was like no other, and Marjorie here. It just seems like Marjorie going to do what Marjorie going to do. And it just seems like Marjorie is full of energy, full of fire, full of passion, full of ideas. And Marjorie is always going. And Marjorie is creative. And Marjorie is about the money. She is that. That's fire. It's energy. So let's see what the problem could be. And I would hope that they would never get a divorce. And I would hope that Steve say, no, I'm not going to give you a divorce. Nope. Nope, nope, uh, nope, mm -mm, nope. Up, uh, they got the fool. So we have the King of Cups, which is Steve Harvey. We have the Page of One, which is Marjorie. And we have the fool. So what could the fool represent in this, baby clone? What the what the fool could represent is they're starting a new journey. Maybe well, they can't be starting a new journey because they've been married for years. Yeah, but maybe their marriage is coming to like a new avenue because we have all these rumors coming out. Yeah, and now they're faced with divorce or no divorce. Sorry about that. My cameras keep going out when they get hot. It's so subtle, but we get them back on like that. Thank you, baby clone. Um, so anyway, what did I leave off, baby clone? I left off off the, the fool? Yes, the okay. fool. So anyway, when I see about the fool, what I see here is someone that uh, is immature. Because the fool is on a journey. He's young. He's innocent. But I see here, Steve Harvey is the mature, the love. He, he, he's, he represents all what love can have. All the love and passion. He adores Marjorie. Like I said, Marjorie is not a, maybe a muse. I don't know. I know he loves her, but he loves her like a... I don't want to say the wrong word, like a pet. Like a, not anything derogatory. So, but Marjorie seems to me the immature part of the relationship. Um, baby clone, help me. Uh, I, I, I'm just, what do you see? I see that um, a choice is being offered yeah, because they definitely. came to a point in their relationship mm -hmm. with all these rumors and maybe... Stuff Their relationship is definitely being tried. Yes. And and Steve has to close his eyes to a lot of things and close his ears so he don't get pulled in to all the things that they are saying about his beautiful wife, Marjorie, you know, and um, he loves her. But you know what? A lot of times people feel as though this is karma. People feel as though the way Steve treated his first wife, second wife, wherever, whatever, whomever, however it works. Sometimes this is how the chicken come home to roost. However, what about Marjorie? She had a hand in it too. 
That's what I'm saying. To me, I think it's the both of them. I think Mar I think Steve loved Marjorie. And I do think Marjorie could be a little bit on the immature and on the selfish side of the spectrum, looking at the cause. I do believe that their marriage had problems because of the way Steve Harvey probably stayed busy a lot. And, and, and Margie can be a little immature from what the courts are saying. And I truly believe that, that, that there are choices. And I do believe one of the choices that they are making is to fight for their marriage. And that is the best choice of all. Yes. <clears throat> and for the first row. Oh, my God. Yep. I see, I see the Empress. I see the Ten the Wheel of Fortune, and I see the seven. And what I see in the present, I see so, a very strong woman, like strong. Even though she had childish ways about her, I see her very strong and very nurturing. She knows how to love Steve. She knows how to give Steve what Steve wants. And if Steve out there seemed mesmerized to you all, like he seemed like he's just swallowed up, and the love of Marjorie, he is, but he is not a fool. He loves her and he knows he's getting old and it's getting voice. He's, they they want to make this work. And I see for them, here it is. I see, what is it? The wheel of fortune. And whenever that shows up to me, that's a karma card. That means you've been on some hard luck and things are going to turn around for you. And their past, I see it, their past, present, future, and their in their present future, their past is coming up to try to disturb their marriage, trying to tear it down. And Steve know that this is a work of the enemy. Steve and Marjorie know that they have enemies out there from old lovers trying to destroy their marriage. Oh, I felt that. And so for this, they are not going to give in. And they shouldn't. Because who kiss and tell? Exactly. But a bitter lover. Yes. And I think... I, I truly do believe that when I'm looking at these cards, I just see, ooh, I just see a lot of people in this. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I see a lot of people. I see hair, hair pads. I see someone that is just realizing that maybe they can't penetrate the marriage. And I see someone's moving on, moving on. Like, you know what? Just Put it behind them like an eclipse, like like the moon is is like an eclipse of the moon. It's 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 like moving on, like you're not gonna break us. We're not gonna give in. You thought you had us. We're not gonna give in. And who's ever doing this? This is somebody from their past. It seems like it's somebody from Marjorie's past, but it could be somebody from Steve's past. But it seems to me that here on this bottom row, I see a queen. I see a page and I see justice. And what's saying to me is all these outside forces that's trying to come in and break these people up. This is some kind of spell. Somebody's putting like a black magic to go after this couple, to go after this woman. And out of justice, justice will preserve. Justice will prevail in all of this. And Steve, you cannot let your wife go because of this. If she wants to stay, let her stay. Turn your ear. Forgive. Forgive one another. Forgive. You can do this. You can don't let the naysayers win in this because you got a lot of people. And you and Marjorie have a special bond. And if you lost it, I advise you to find it. This is a marriage that was made for you, Steve, in heaven. This is one that you have to keep. You have to make it work. Do that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. What do you get out of what I'm saying? That it was written in like destiny or in the stars right. for them to meet and come right. into this relationship. And even though it's going to be tried to know that whatever you guys had in that past, you can still have it now. Right. It's a challenge for all of the things that you both did in your past. Yes, this is karma, but this is karma of the testing of your love. This is a good thing. Why? Because you get to show the world, Steve, is that you love can overcome anything, anything, yes, anything, even if they saying she's sleeping with your best friend, this and that, your sh it don't matter. At the end of the day, do you love one another? And this is what this is all about, Steve. You can do this, Steve.
Baby Chrome, you have any questions? Yes, my All first right, question. All right, let's get started. Did you find out the person who asked for this reading? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. All right, Baby Chrome. Yes, baby. And I was, and before you answer, I wasn't even thinking about them because I had resolved in my mind that what God joined together, no man should put it under with this couple. And yet I'm seeing all oh, hell done broke out yes. against this couple. It's horrifying. And it's got to be draining and sad. It's got to be embarrassing and shocking. I feel for this couple. As a matter of fact, I'm going to send prayers up for this couple because they need it. I don't find anything funny when I see a marriage in a pearls like this. I wish them nothing but success. And I'm speaking directly to, to Steve. Steve, make it work. And what I'm going to say to um, Marjorie, Marjorie, love Steve. Love your husband. If you don't already love him, do not let this win. You all are a beautiful couple. And you are a light in the world. Fight for it. It's worth fighting for. No matter what the naysayers, no matter what you did in your checkered past, who cares? Live in your present. Forgive one another. Move forward. Move forward. All right. Yes, my question is, well, first off, this person would like to know in this very moment right now. Okay. Is Marjorie and Steve getting a divorce? Oh, I hope not. Well, here we go. I hope not. I hope not. No. Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. The cards are saying, oh, no. Oh, no. This is family is not. No, no. And that's that's what I'm saying. This should not win. Whatever this is in the past, somebody is coming up because somebody is coming up with vengeance. Somebody is trying to hurt you, Steve, and somebody is trying to hurt Margie. It'd be no way, as my sister, God rest her soul, would say, it'd be a dark day and a funky moon before I allow the naysayers break up my marriage. No way. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Even if I was mad at her, we'll just have to work it out. I don't care if it takes five, ten years. We're going to work it out. Because you're going to be the face I see when I close my eyes for the last time. It's going to be you. That's how they got to get. They got to get flat-footed and determined that they're not going to let the world, the naysayers, and they got enemies. They got people who delight and th this is what the cards are saying. This is why it says justice. It's like they got people who delight, who's finding joy and pleasure in their brokenness. Like, I didn't know that. Yeah, same. Yikes. I it's Steve like Steve Harvey got venom spewed to him. And Marjorie is looked at as like the scarlet letter. Please don't let this destroy your marriage. Trust me. Go ahead, another question. But nevertheless, here, I'm just shocked that all of this is going on. Where I've been looking? Where I've been? Well, it's it's been brewing. It just it's been rumors here and there mm -hmm. for like maybe like a week or so. Okay. And so I'm not far behind the curve. No, you're not. And nothing has been confirmed. Neither right. of them None have came out. It's just rumors. Everything is rumors at this time. And I absolutely thank and you. And more rumors come. are coming out as we more speak. More and crazy. more and more. Absolutely. And it just seems like, please, I'm just prayers. Don't let this destroy you. It would be such a travesty, Steve, because you have spoke. This is a time of redemption. This is a time for you to prove you and Marjorie. Y'all deserve each other. I'm just saying. Give me another question. Yes, this person would also like to know, which I am curious too, is Marjorie really having affairs? I have to read what I see. Yes, there is truth to that. To what degree? I don't want to know. Don't ask me. Okay. I don't want to know. I'm not saying if it was the past, the present, or the future. I don't want to know. Blah, blah, blah. All I'm saying is, yes, it does seem that because the shoes too shows up couples and it also showed that there is some kind of intimacy or something involved. I can't deny it. The card showed that. Yes. But it also showed that they're going to work through it. 
Yes, my next. Don't ask me because I, I don't want to know. I because I'm rooting for them. Yes, I don't want to know. We just gonna leave that one alone. My next question. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Baby Crow not starting trouble this morning. Yeah, she old troublemaker over there <laughs> trying to start trouble on this one. I'm really rooting for them, and um, because this is where you find love, and and I want to give out good advice. I'm not for the destruction of anyone's marriage Ooh, or relationship. Especially when it's a black couple. I'm really for it because we as a black pup people, we can do this. We can do it. I know we can. Go ahead, baby. Come. Yes, my next question is how is Steve and Marjorie feeling in this moment? Oh, that's a rumors? good question. Oh, they're going through a very dark time. Very, very dark time. What do you mean? When I see the moon, I see the true nature of them. They're dealing with each other's true nature. Their nature is coming out. They are, they, it's, it has not been easy. It cannot have been easy. This is not easy. What is this you all might say? This is the moon. And whenever you're dealing with the moon, you're dealing with personalities or you're dealing with the nature. You're dealing with man's nature, his his tame nature and his, what is it, primitive nature. Yes. So when you're dealing with that, you're dealing with the polarities of who we are as people. You understand what I'm saying? And so you got to understand they're howling right now because this is very, very painful. And it's like pulling scabs off of old wounds. And some of this is saying that this is going on now. So what do you believe? Whom you believe? I tell you who I'm believing in. I'm believing in this couple to weather this. And I'm believing that Marge is going to pull herself together and understand that if she's involved in this in any way, shame on you, Marjorie. Shame on you. And I want them to make it in spite of it all. You have another question. So yeah, they're struggling. The cards are definitely showing. It's a psychological struggle. They probably don't even really talk about it as much anymore. It's just there and it's haunting and it's, it's an uncomfortable feeling. Yes, according to the cards. Mm -hmm. Yes, my next question is, do they love each other? Well, the queen shows up. So when the queen show up, in spite of it all, queen is about family. Queen is about love. Remember, this is the queen of cups. And the queen of cups, and I thought I saw Yes, yeah, Steve a king. was the king, king of King is cups. the king. So yes. So yes, they love each other, most definitely. That's what cups are all about. It's about love. It's about finding one another. It's about dealing with the hard parts. It's about not giving up. And even though this king, this queen is stressed, she's still holding on to the chalice because she believes in the sanctity of her marriage. You have another question? I like the sound of that. It's truth. It's truth. Yes, my question is about that justice card. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning for the justice? When I see this justice card and everything that's going up against them, who's doing all of this, even if the salaciousness, even if it's truth or mixed with lies to expose someone like this for whatever reasons, it, that's just not good. It's right. not good karma to just expose somebody, A, because you can, and B, because you're trying to hurt them. And because of that, it, it, it puts that person in a situation where they feel bound and embarrassed and humiliated. And not only does it does her, it does Steve as well. So what do you do about this? It caused a lot of friction. It caused a lot of fighting for people to come out writing books, telling all this stuff that happens in the past. So you need something. These are the two cards. So we see bound, we see fighting, we see this going on. So what do you do in this? You have to release this. You have to understand. You have to understand where it's coming from. It's coming from an enemy. It's coming from somebody who's trying to destroy your marriage. Whether it's truth or a lie. It's someone that, that's coming that's trying to destroy your marriage. And at the end of the day, whether it's a truth or a lie, it's do they win? And according to the cards, the cards say, no, I'm going to be selfish. They are not going to win. And at the end of all of this, will their love be stronger? Yes. They're seeking for it. This is not easy. So, no, their love will be stronger. 
the ancient of days, the ancient of time, the seeker. Yes, they will, but they got to fight. This is going to be a struggle. This is something they, they, this is, this is horrible. So yes, yeah, they being enlightened. They going through a lot. And I see all these, um, Major These arcanas. major cards of, 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 of separating themselves from the noise, maybe um, uh, separating from each other to absorb. But no matter what they're doing, they are, they are saying that they are willing to work it out. They are willing to work it out. And that's what matters. That's, that's what matters. That's what matters. Because that's what marriage is about. That's what family is. Right? Yes. It's about working it out. Is there anything too hard? Anything too hard for them to work out? If they believe it's like they say they are, I can ask the question, is it anything too God, hard for God in their case? I mean, God specializes in the miraculous. He specializes or it or whomever God is for you. Isn't God supposed to specialize in brokenness? So this is what Steve is, and I feel as though that he has been enlightened. I truly believe this is a out war to destroy Steve, to break him. I think it's out to expose um, his wife. I think it's there to hurt her, to destroy her, and to leave them all perplexed. This is about money. This is about a lot of things. I never know that there was so much venom towards a couple until looking at this spread, honestly. Let me see. Let me see. My last question would be is this. Are they going to weather this? They're not accepting anything. Baby Cone. Yes. They are really standing. They really standing tall. They really resisting. They really putting up the fight. She's really saying these are all lies. She's really saying it. And do Steve believe her? Another queen. Yes. He's believing her because he wants to believe her. He needs to believe her. Marjorie is his, Marjorie is everything to Steve. Steve loved Marjorie. Steve is not a fool. Steve understand I love her. And if you love somebody, you forgive them over and over. Like the story of um, Jose and Omar. You love in spite of. That's what love is all about. It's for, not for the faint of hearts. It's for somebody who, you know, you got to be mature when you love. And most of all, you have to know how to love yourself. You have to set boundaries. And then when those boundaries are broken, you have something to fall back on. Don't lose yourself in love. Baby Crumb. Yes. Sorry about that. Camera went. Co Thank you, Baby Crumb. You are so on it. Go ahead, Baby Crumb. What Do you have a question? I did not have a question. However, I do have the overall number. Okay. And the overall number is a six. Wait a minute. Before you give the overall, I, 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 I really want something. I just feel like this. I want to. I, I want to. I don't feel good closure. I feel like I'm e e e leaving this out like chaotic. And I don't want to do it, so I want to run. Just give me two more cards to run. Okay. And what I want to, I, I need a better ending for this. How is this going to end? Well, here's another card. So we know we have fighting. We have friction. We have separation. We have a lot of childishness. We have a lot of talk. We have a lot of foolishness. And we have grief. This is love. This is grief, heartbrokenness. At the end of it all, this, let this card tell the truth. Will they overcome it? Yes. Whenever you have pentacles, that's earth, meaning you can overcome anything. And here, if you see this card, this is bountiful. They can do it. It's not going to be easy because it's a lot of forgiving. It's a lot of letting go. It's a lot going into this. I just hope that they make it. I just want, I'm rooting for this couple. I'm rooting for this couple. I'm rooting, you know, I root for all couples. I do. I do. Because it's, it's hard. Anyway, baby clone, go give me your numbers. Yes. The overall number is a six. Okay. And what's very fascinating about that is that that makes three sixes on the table. Okay. Go ahead. Wait. The first two is the six of swords in the center. Okay, got Next it. Next to it, the six yeah, cups. Yep, 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 yep. And yep, then yep. the overall number is a six. 
Okay. And three sixes represents success. So it, re it represents success and, and it's the Trinity. It represents the Trinity and it represents the true foundation. A foundation that was etched in the stars. This is not easy. They have to fight for this. They're going to have to prove because of karma. This is what this is. This is past karma. They're dealing with past things, things in the past. It could be going on now. And if it is, I truly believe it's because Steve worked a lot. And he knows that his wife, he knows his, his wife's sexual language. I'm not saying she's cheating. I'm not saying she is. I'm not saying she isn't. But as a reader, I'm dealing with both parts. If she's cheating, you have to stop, Margie, and decide on what you want. You, know, you understand? Cheating is for losers. You don't have to cheat. Okay? I'm not saying she's cheating. I'm just saying if that is going on, the infidelity must stop. And maybe the infidelity did stop, and maybe this is why all this is coming out. And maybe at the end of all of this, if she decided that I love my husband. And maybe at the end, people get mad, things come out, blah, 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 blah. And people want to write books, and people want to do this, and people want to do that. But at the end of the day... This says that this number is built on a good foundation on the on built on the triangle, the mysterious. Um, what is that word? It's um, serendipity. No, I'm not. No, no. A triangle. They dealt with what do you call? Oh, geometry. Geometry. Thank you. It's the perfect geometry that all life must enter, even as in the womb. So they are built on a solid foundation. It's up to them to make it work. They just have to remember that they can make the turnaround in their marriage. It's there for them. Will it be easy? No. But it will cause for a lot of forgiveness and a lot of putting the past in the past and moving on and fighting for now. And trying to keep all the naysayers out of your relationship and get counseling. This is what I see if they want to make it because they are up against a lot. I hope that in this reading that you enjoyed it. Oh yes. So like it I put said, the rumors to rest for me. I if feel it happy. is, it could be truth to all of this, but that's not what I'm reading about. I'm reading about the structure and the foundation of this marriage. I truly believe that this marriage can weather anything, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for maturity because this calls for a mature man. And a mature woman, not a child. It's time to put childish things away and fix this like adults. And that's my read. I hope you enjoyed it. Sunflowers. <laughs>